Guys, Chris here with Simply Japanese Maples. We're gonna do a bit of a informal sort of tour today, but just to kind of give you a sense of some of the sizes that you might be curious about uh, when you're ordering some of your trees. You know, you're not always gonna get um, trees that you see in pictures on the website. We try our best to try and give you a sense of, you know, the size, you know, what your tree is gonna look like, um, that kind of thing. So that's what I wanna do today is just kinda Go around, we'll take a look at some of the trees we've got right now in uh, end of May, 2024. And uh, just have a look at some great trees, just period. So uh, enjoy the tour. I will give some narration along the way. So here's uh, Acer Shira Sawanum Bronze Age. So I've noticed that this is a two gallon. I've noticed that um, this one bronze is out pretty good. No pun intended here. What I mean to say is it goes green very very uh, readily with uh, less sun whereas you get this um, redder growth in more more sun exposure here's a sister ghost here look at those leaves sister ghost is pretty pretty solid for holding uh, not burning out in uh, in too much sun so it's pretty good here is a hubs red willow this is in a three gallon size Pretty solid. So this is growing fast, this one. Here's a little Teo Nishiki in a one gallon. Look at those, we have some leaves that are almost entirely white on there. It's really cool. Kumoi Nishiki. We don't have any of those for sale, unfortunately. Here's a little multicolor graph. And behind that is a Ukigumo uku, graph. Not for sale yet. Here's a frosted purple. So larger trees like this, this is in a five gallon pot. You know, these kind of trees are available for local purchase. You know, in the future, hopefully we can do deliveries uh, certainly around the province in British Columbia, not so much deliver personally to other provinces, but within British Columbia. That's, uh, that's one of the things we love to do. Here's uh, Uzen Nishiki. Uzen Nishiki would prefer to have a little more shade, to have a lot more white pink variegation. Here's a dwarf, Chiri Jaime. In a two gallon. Here's a sis larger sister ghost. Here's what Oshio Benny looks like when it comes out of a very shaded area, very greened out. Otherwise, it can look a lot more like this when it gets more sun so there's your more sun here's your less sun Sagara Nishiki kind of a yellow and green variegated form beside that blonde beauty this has really cool reticulation in the spring and uh, then it starts to fade a bit and the growth over top of that is really interesting. You get almost like these um, non-reticulated kind of yellowy leaves over top. And then they start getting some color like this, which is, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool display so far. Here's the ones I was talking about. Kind of the second round, doesn't really seem to have much reticulation. And then more recently you get some of this color. So really neat. Here's Irish Lace. I've been raving about this one all year. You want a fast growing dissectum, germane's gyration. Here's a pink lace. Here's the pink and pink lace. Pixie, unfortunately, uh, not Pixie, it's Shayana. Unfortunately, none of these for sale right now. Here's Ever Autumn. Nice 
nice uh, interest, additional interest with those seeds. Here's Acer Palmatum Green Tea. Nice leaves on these. Very simple, kind of classy look to it. We've got Falls Fire. Red Pygmy. There's one of our two gallon Koto Noitos, green. Nice pinky red Shiraz. Beside that is Goshiki Koto Haimi. Starfish. This larger one here is Emmett's Pumpkin. Rising Sun next to that. Those are both Japonicums. Here's the Ukigumo, a larger one. We are Garnet Tower. Fairly upright red dissectum. Here's an orangeola headed out the door this, to a customer this week. Along with a Skeeter's broom. How can you tell if it's a broom? This little rounded nub right here. Compared to the other ones, that's a dead giveaway. Here's a Kir Kiru Jaime. Cool little guy. Saw watch a dory. Sukasa silhouette. Here's a sunset. We've got Ace of Palmatum Fireball, a dwarf red. And not a dwarf, but a smaller uh, upright red is Rhode Island red, right beside it. Here's Yasmin. Yasmin's a beautifully, deeply dissected leaf tree that grows very large in the landscape. Speaking of larger, Trompenberg. That gets to be a beautiful specimen tree. Autumn moon. Osakazuki beside that. Get a bit of a sense of a two gallon size here on those. So those are about three feet tall or so from the top of the pot. Another Koto Noito behind there. Some Siryu's. We do have Siryu in these two gallons. They're smaller though. I would discount those probably to one gallon size. Here is Orangeola again. Look at this awesome baldsmith. More green below, more red, pink over top. Here's a bigger Shiraz that gets full sun, so it's all pink and red. We're headed into the shadier climbs. Here's a burgundy lace. So burgundy lace really has that burgundy color when it has less full sun. Same thing can be said for uh, Nurasagi, very purpley red. If you like this look, this very deeply dissected leaf look, Burgundy Lace, Crimson Queen, both good examples of that, as well as Yasmin. Here's Kawahara Midori, very similar to Ayagi. Here's a larger Ryusin. Featured this one in a video the other day. This one I believe is called Pink Ballerina, but it was labeled incorrectly. 
um, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It has this deep red with pink variegation lace leaf. Just need a bit more observation here just to confirm before trying to sell those. Nice little dancing peacock, Maikujaku, Echinetofolium. Yes, many names. The leaves on those are fabulous. Unbelievable uh, mix of fall colors on these. Not surprisingly, all the Japonicums have amazing fall color. Speaking of Japonicums, more Emmett's pumpkin. These are very green because they're lots of shade. Oh, check out fairy hair. It's an interesting little, little thing, that's for sure. This is uh, Dissectum Washi no O, which I think is the same as Eagle Claw. We do have a small one e uh, gallon Eagle Claw in stock and we've carried Washi no O before. Right beside that is Orium. Here's some of our two gallon Ryuzens we have in stock. With a fire glow, more cereals, more Goshiki Ko Tohaimi. We got a large waterfall here. Here's a larger Peve multicolor. Pretty cool. Well, we got a Bihu here. It's harder to see if we can't get a shot of that. We got a Bihu. In a three gallon, look at that yellowy gold colored bark. Very cool. Beside that is fascination. We've got some fascination in one gallons. These are nice trees, guys. Nice leaves, nice form. It's a, it becomes a large upright tree. Another Bronze Age, another Ukigumo. Got a larger Lillian's Jewel here. Benny Shishihenga. Orange Dream hiding in the back. Here's a larger Seiyunkaku. This uh, dwarf over here, Kayohimi Yatsubusa. This one just got munched by deer last year and it has bounced back beautifully. As has a smaller one that got munched by deer this year. That's bouncing back. All that new growth, the lighter stuff. Uh, we've got a lemon chiffon, that's nice. In the back here we have some key uh, Jijo. These are nice upright trees, yellow orange fall color, nice leaves. Fairly vigorous too, at least the ones we have here. These ones are in our two gallons. This is Benny Kumo no Su, red spider web. Next to Autumn Moon. Which, what I got down here, this is Vandenacker with Toshi behind it. Here's Toshi. Oh, that's not Toshi, sorry, that is Mirt. Yeah, Shirasawana Mirt. Toshi's very similar. Very, very similar. Oregon Fern, Japonicum. Here's that smaller fascination. This little one's called Okina. Here's the one that I said was maybe similar to Washi no O or maybe the same 
cultivar. It's called Eagle Claw. I think it's the same cultivar personally. Here's Sumagaki. Here is a jumbo of a Shidava Gold. Beautiful goldy green colored leaves. In through the jungle of ghosts, we've got a strawberry spring that's all strawberried out. Gaki no Sugi in the back here. Gaki su no Sugi is really cool. It's got, goes from having leaves similar to this, and then you get newer leaves that kind of get this burnty orange look. And then you even get leaves that just have entirely orangey red color on them. So really neat, really neat. Here's our Mikazuki that's holding its color fabulously this year. It's a lot less pink than it was, but it's, it does hold its color quite well in this greenhouse. Guys, we still have tons of trees available. A lot of one gallon, a lot of two gallon trees available. And I know sometimes it can be tough to flip through the website pages, find the trees that aren't sold out. But believe me, there's a lot of awesome trees still available. Thanks for tuning in. SimplyJapaneseMaples.ca. Until next time.